Once a tip, always a tip. <laughs> Once a tip, always a tip. Hindi ko mapatayo doon sa lagayan ko ng cellphone itong cellphone Eh di ba tatlong paa to? Ano para sa itong isa? Para pag nakatayo Hindi kasi yung cellphone ko masyado maliit Umad sa tip So I can't believe I'm out I can't believe I'm here you mean With you in Italy, huh? <laughs> yeah, me either. Just wish the circumstances were less tense, you know? Eh, uh, well... No, the sights are a bit more enjoyable that way. Oh! Uh, so this, this isn't your first time here? No, it's more like, uh, third? Had a couple of odd jobs. With Sullivan? Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. Aamo na natin, atayo ko yung cellphone that exposed beam underneath. Oh, you think you can rope it? Do I think I can rope it? <laughs> Watch this. I'm watching. I, uh, I missed. <laughs> nah, see, it's, uh, it's all in the wrist. Here, let me see it. Ah, see? Yeah, it's not bad. For a second attempt. <laughs> Here we go. You see that? Oh, like a pro. It's your turn. So where to next? Hey, we can swing off that beam up there. Uh, definitely. Okay, here we go. <laughs> First try. All right, no one likes a show off. <sighs> okay, come on, Nathan. It looks like you can uh, climb down and make your way over. Right behind you. Okay. Hey, è scommesso sulla partita. Inghilterra vincente. Inghilterra, traditore. Hey, non confondere l'orgoglio nazionale con la realtà. Ok, we're good. Jesus, did you see him? That Renner thug was packing some serious heat. Shut up our guns. 
Sam, we're gonna pull this off so smoothly we won't need them. I hope you're right. Ah, all those years. It's the little things that you miss the most. Look, there's that window. I right, nearly there. That should hold. Come on down. Oof. Ah. <laughs> this landing's a little more painful than I remember. <clears throat> yeah, tell me about it. So, uh, your other wonderful finds, uh, the ones I missed, you at least take any pictures? I wish. Elena filmed some of it, but camera didn't make it. That's too bad. I have some drawings, though. When we get back, I'll show you. You have drawings? What, are they up on the fridge or something? No, I, they're good drawings. I can't wait. Ah, this looks promising. I think you mean precarious. <clears throat> Shit! You okay up there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. It'd suck if you missed right now. It sure would. But I don't miss. Crap, you know when you view crappy crap. million bucks. Let's go. All right, I'm right behind you. Sully? You know what I love about partying with a bunch of crooks? What's that? Nobody cares if you smoke indoors. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Too long, boy. Oh. <clears throat> you remember my dead brother, right? Victor? I'll be goddamn. Fifteen years. Yep. Good to see you alive, Sam. Mm -hmm. let's, uh, let's try keeping him alive by getting this cross, huh? Yeah, uh, about that. What, what about that? Come on, let me show you something. That's Avery's cross. They brought it out of storage just before you guys got here. They changed the lot order. Take a whole pile of cash to make that happen. All right, well, how long before they start the bidding? 10, 15 minutes tops. 
Well, there's got to be some way we can grab it. <laughs> there is just a small matter of a few hundred eyewitnesses okay. down there. Okay, but we just need a diversion. Like? Like, um... Like, I don't know. But there's got to be something. Well, the guards see <laughs> us making for that cross. But they don't see us. Jesus, you guys act like you never spend time in prison. If you want something dirty done, then you wait for, for lights, lights out. out. Yeah. Where's that electrical panel for this place? There's ventilation. Electrical. That's it up here. So we just have to climb up there and kill the lights. Grab the cross in the dark. There will be an emergency generator. That'll give us a few seconds of darkness to work with. Meaning we'll have to be right next to the cross when the lights go out. So there's no way we can get that close without being noticed. Scusate, signore. <clears throat> Antipasti? Come on, sir. Hi. How are you? Ciao. Don't you focus? A waiter wouldn't get noticed. That could work. Huh? <laughs> that will work. All right, all right, I'll, I'll get to the breaker room and kill the power. You mean I'm the waiter? You're the best pickpocket. What? You head down to the floor, keep your eye on the prize, okay? Let us know if anything, uh, hinky goes down. Roger that. All right, listen, we still got this. Ready? Ready. All right, follow me. We'll cut through the cellar. Gotta say, Victor, the years have been kind to you. Thanks. I chuck it up to go on. Pardon me? Galingo, Galingo. What are you doing? I'm uh, just going over our exit strategy. It's gonna get hairy. <laughs> Look, relax. We've pulled up tougher heist than this. Yeah, I know, I know. I just try not to imagine what they'll do if they catch us. Sam, if things go bad, we'll be dead long before they catch us. That's a comforting point. Yeah. I am so happy right now. On its own journey. I thought I had a reasonable grasp of French, or at least a passable French accent. But then a few months back, I'm with my girlfriend by the Pompidou. I've just sold them those pieces we uh, yeah, obtained last year. You know, those hanging old... Oh, I don't know, abstract art shit. Anyway, we walk out past that giant ice pack. What is that thing, anyway? And we see the cover of our food. Cellar's just through there. Let's go. This place is fancy. Of course they play douchey European techno. Excuse me. See that? Key card, back left pocket. Yep. I'm on it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You sure you wanna do that? There's a lot of eyes out here. I think I can handle a simple lift. All right. <laughs> and he 
doubt in me. Pleasure to watch professionals at work. Okay. All right. Let's try this again. We'll still need these. Great. Good luck. We'll be in touch. Hands in the air. Hi, Victor. Hello, Nadine. <laughs> Pleasure to see you again. Only this time, I've got the drop on you. Well, I guess I should be glad that's not a real gun. <laughs> Hardly recognize you out of your fatigues. Yeah. You know how it is. Every once in a while, a job requires us to get all dolled up. Looking sharp, by the way. Not too bad yourself. So out of place here. Can't tell you what a relief it is to run into another English speaker, even if you are American. They'll have to blame my parents for that one. <laughs> I was on my way to the bar. Can I get you something? Yeah, scotch on the rocks. Be right back. Late. You catch all that? Yes, I did. Sounds like a lady's trying to buy you a drink. Yeah, Nadine Ross is buying me a drink. Ross. Wait, doesn't she own that army for hire? It's called Coastline? Shoreline. Yeah, right. But you had a run in with them. It's putting it mildly. Fortunately, she does not seem to be holding a grudge. I'm good to go here. All right. Listen, we're all set, Sully. You, uh, stay out of trouble, okay? I'll try. You ready? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. I gotta find where the waiters and caterers are hanging out. Lure one out of the kitchen, probably. Then let's go find the kitchen. Man, there's enough food down here to feed a small town. I wonder if they host weddings. Oh, yeah, they're a full service site. Weddings, bar mitzvahs, black market auctions. But do they have a DJ? This skit wasn't on the blueprint. Locked, of course. Okay, plan B. Check this out. You got some? Over here. There we go. Let there be light. Got electrical in this joint. <sighs> Don't suppose you brought it. Yeah, that'll do. I guess it's always a good idea to bring a smoker along. Let's see. I need to run. Man, I'm starting to get a little drunk off the fumes in here. Oh, good thing Sully's driving. Maybe the vent access is behind these casks. That's a lot of really rare vintage. Yeah, maybe Alcazar can just settle for some good wine. <laughs> that's something tells me that's not gonna fly. Hey, uh, 
Should be worried that Victor is chatting up Nadine, Ross. Heard some pretty scary stories about her crew. Yeah, don't worry about Sully. He can talk his way out of anything. Why did you not go out with the fuck? Wait, you might have not gone to. to give me a hand or anything. Fresh air, here we come. Hey, check this out. See that building with the radio tower? You mean the cell tower? The what? Whatever. Listen, that's the power room. Yeah, you're right. Let's see how we get past this gate. Yeah, baby, I sound better. Game, game.
Sam, up here. I'll boost you up. All right. All right. Good thing you kept in shape. There you go. Sully, we just got out of the wine cellar, heading to the power room now. How's it looking? Sully? You there? <sighs> Must be a bad spot for a signal. Hopefully he's doing okay. Bingo. Found the kitchen. And of course it's locked. Sam, look. Maybe we can use that to find a window. Drop into the kitchen. That's a good idea. I'll boost you up and you take care of the ladder. Sera. Ma che sta facendo? See on the civilian, Sam. Why? So he wakes up with a headache in his underwear. We've both been there before, right? <laughs> right. Well, I got mine. You get yours. All right. Okay, let's get to the power room. Sam, you good? Yeah, these pants are just a little bit too tight. Yeah, well, that's the style these days. Really? Oh, we're in Rome. Nah, because we're in Italy. I get it. Right, I'm gonna head back to the ballroom. room. Not at all. Sam, you there? Sam? Sully? Great. Uh oh. Guys, if you can hear me, I'm just about at the power room. Should be there soon. Ish. No. Oi, bem. Está lá. Minatauro. Okay, just like riding a bike. Several hundred feet in the air. Nice, so we could not all. Very good. Stop.
Ito na ako naliligaw ako, what the fuck? believe you got away with that. Oh, we did not. No, we had our liberty taken away for a month. And what about the horse? Fortunately, we had a lot of carrots on board. <laughs> I recognize someone. No. I thought I did, but no. Hey, when am I finally going to meet that partner of yours? Drake? Well, that's ex-partner. Mm. Yeah, I've been flying solo for a while now. Drake's out. Oh, like dead out? Oh no, more like retired. Mm. Last I heard, he settled down, got married. Mm. Well, then he might as well be dead, right? <laughs> Victor Sullivan! How the hell are you? Great. How long has it been? Ten years? Twelve? Fifteen. <laughs> it's amazing. All these years gone by, here we are, we're still haggling over dead people's junk. <laughs> really? Aren't you running your parents' business? My business now. But yes, that is my day job. <laughs> that is one hell of a day job. You could probably afford to buy up everything on the block tonight. Well, sure. But what would be the point in that? And these days, I'm only looking for the good stuff. Big score. Any advice on what I should pick up tonight? <laughs> yeah, I think I want to bid against him. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> just between you and me, I did notice they changed the order. Hmm. I think somebody might be trying to rig this auction. Hmm. Well, remember where we are. This crowd didn't get rich by playing fair. Which is why you really need someone watching your back in a place like this. Ah. Well, I do hate to break it to you. You are working for an American. With? We've partnered up on this one. See? <laughs> Talk about a power couple. In a few moments, we'll begin bidding on our next item, an inlaid wooden crucifix from the Trotty State. Well, I know when I'm a third wheel. You two kids have fun tonight. Hold on, Sully. How'd you find out about it? It? What it is that, Rafe? Nadine, I think your partner here has had too many bloody marriages. Cut the whole shit, old man. I don't know how you scammed your way in here, but if you think about bidding on Avery's cross, I can tell you exactly how you're going to be beating in a goddamn Rafe. fight. Okay. Power room. Okay, my outlet. Let's see. Now, see, see.